the 2020 schedule for Wisconsin was really just a mess when you look at all the cancellations. Of course, COVID uh, playing a big factor, especially in the Big Ten last season. They didn't get to play Nebraska. They didn't get to play Purdue. And they also did not get to play Minnesota. Now, they did play in their bowl game. Um, so that was that was an additional game for them and wound up, because of that win, getting them to a winning record um, as they finish the season off at 4-3. and three. This is the schedule for 2021. Before we go game by game, let's first look at who they play outside of their division because, of course, we know they're going to play every team in the Big Ten West. Outside of the division, they'll play Eastern Michigan in the non-conference, a team that has been you know, pretty good in the past out of the, at the group of five level, but I don't think that's going to be too big of a challenge. Then you also have Notre Dame. They'll play that game in Chicago, I believe at Soldier Field. That'll be a really big game. Um, looking forward to that one. And then they'll have Army, a tough non-conference matchup there. Army always is a tough team to beat. Uh, that, that's probably going to be a pretty low-scoring game, if I had to guess. I think both teams are probably going to want, want to run the football. Um, and I think you, you see a lot of a lot of long drives in that game. Uh, and then out of the Big Ten East, the teams that they'll play across the division, they'll play Penn State and Michigan, both at home. So you're playing two of the better teams, although Michigan wasn't very good. Really, both teams were not very good last year. Uh, so you're playing still normally two of the better teams out of the East. But you get them both at home, so that's the good news. And then they'll have Rutgers on the road. Rutgers is a program that is is starting to come up with Greg Schiano. They looked much better last year, so that may not be an easy win there. Uh, so let's go back to the schedule, and we'll go game by game, starting with the opener on September 4th against Penn State. Talk about a way to start the season off. Uh, that's going to be a huge game. I mean, that you're talking about two of the better teams, I think, next year in the Big Ten they will go at it right out of the gate, week one, conference game. Looking forward to seeing what happens in that game. Again, I think that that is going to be um, an exciting matchup, and it's just, it's to me, it's kind of weird to see Big Ten conference games in week one. I know they've started to do that, um, but you're going to be thrown in the fire right away. Big game there. Then Eastern Michigan on September 11th. That'll be maybe their easiest game of the season. Uh, and again, we're talking about a, a group of five team that's not bad. And so they'll play them and then get ready for Notre Dame. Now, they have a bye week very early in the season this year. They will have their bye week between Eastern Michigan and Notre Dame. So once you get to Notre Dame, it's 10 straight weeks of football. They will have no bye weeks after that. Uh, but after playing a tough Penn State team and then Eastern Michigan, uh, you might need a bye week before playing Notre Dame. I think that is is maybe their biggest game of the year. I, well, I wouldn't say it's the biggest game of the year just because it's not in the in the conference. You know, it's not going to affect whether or not they go to the Big Ten Championship. But if this team's going to do something big, if they're going to potentially make a run at the college football playoff, if they're going to be that level of a team, then this is their biggest game because this is probably the toughest opponent that they'll play. Uh, they don't play Ohio State in the Big Ten. So Notre Dame going to be a big game there in Chicago. Then they'll go right back... <laughs> to Michigan. I mean, this schedule uh, does not start off easy. You got Michigan on October the 2nd, and then they'll play Illinois on the road October 9th. That might be their easiest Big Ten conference game. And then Army on October 16th. So it's it's kind of a weird schedule playing. Normally the Big Ten teams play their non-conference games pretty much the first three weeks or three of the first four weeks. But they're going to have a non-conference game there in mid-October against Army and uh, that's going to be, again, a pretty tough matchup. Purdue comes on October 23rd. That game will be on the road uh, against you know a, a Purdue team that is, is competitive. I mean, you're not going to just go in there and blow them out. Purdue hasn't had great records the last few years, but they've been pretty competitive in their games, and so I think that that is going to be a pretty big test for Wisconsin. I don't think that's a game where you just go in there and, and show up and win. I know last year, well, they didn't play Purdue last year, so uh, who knows what would have happened. But uh, they'll play Purdue again on October the 23rd. And I realize the Michigan game says September 2nd. It should say October 2nd, just a typo on my part. Uh, then you've got Iowa coming up next, November 30th. When we're talking about the biggest game in the conference, the biggest game that will more than likely have the biggest impact on the Big Ten West, then it's this game. So if this is not a playoff team, and, and I don't really know that they will be, but if this is a team that's just maybe 
try and you know have a chance to get to the Big Ten championship game, then this was probably their biggest game. The Notre Dame Notre Dame game really won't matter. This Iowa game though will matter, and I think these are probably the top two teams in that division. They get them at home. That's good news, uh, but that's going to be a big game there. Rutgers on November sixth on the road, then Northwestern on November thirteenth, Nebraska November twentieth. You get those two games uh, back to back at home, and then Minnesota to close it out November twenty seventh on the road. This is a tough schedule. Now, I know you're going to say, well, this schedule is not that tough. They don't play any any really top 10 teams. Notre Dame might be a top 10 team. But there are just no easy games on this schedule. I mean, every opponent that they play is going to be able to, to play with Wisconsin. I don't think Wisconsin is going to blow out many teams unless they turn out to just be a really good team, uh, you know, a top 10 elite type team, which they might be. But just there's a potential for so many losses here. Uh, Penn State, Michigan, uh, talk about Army, a sneaky game there. Of course, Notre Dame, Purdue on the road, Iowa. Rutgers going to be a tricky game. Northwestern just won this division. Nebraska's got talent. We'll see if they put it together. And then Minnesota on the road. I mean, it's just week in and week out. And because their bye week comes before Notre Dame, there's just no break. And even, you know, if you go past the Illinois game, who might be, you know, Illinois might be an easy win in the Big Ten this year. There's really no break at all from Army to Minnesota. So this schedule is not, on paper, the, the toughest schedule when you talk about um, top 10 opponents, you know, having to play really, really hard games. But it's a tough schedule just because of the grind and the fact that they will play quality teams week in and week out. Uh, they don't have any too tough uh, back-to-backs, I don't think. Notre Dame, Michigan, probably their toughest back-to-back. Uh, they don't have any back-to-back road games. So there are some things that set up well for Wisconsin, but again, it's just going to be a test each week. And if they they will have to play at a high level, play consistently all year long, if they are going to have success in 2021.